Okay, let's start working with documents that are slightly more complicated in structure. First, let's create a document that has an embedded array inside it somewhere. For example, I've now got two documents in a collection called Accounts, one for George and one for Howard, and George has an embedded array for favorites, and the array contains the strings ice cream and pretzels, whereas Howard has an embedded array for favorites containing pretzels and beer. Suppose I wanted to query for all documents where the favorites array contained pretzels. As it happens, MongoDB, in its query operations, is somewhat polymorphic. In particular, if I write in the following query, then you can think of the execution of this query as happening as follows. For every document in the accounts collection, find the field called favorites. If the field called favorites has a string value, and the string value equals pretzels, then the document matches and should be returned from this query. If the document has a field called favorites, and the value of the field favorites is an array, then check inside that array to see if any of the elements in the array is a string that's equal to the string pretzels in which case the document matches. That is to say, our matching is polymorphic over arrays and non-array type values. So when I hit enter, you will see querying for pretzels returns both documents. By contrast, querying for beer returns only Howard. This is a very common idiom in MongoDB to embed an array of things like strings or IDs and to query in exactly this fashion for any document that has a particular element inside of a particular array. We do this automatically. Now, an important thing to understand is that there's no generalized recursion going on here. The matching is more or less exactly as I just described to you. If the field favorites has as its corresponding value an array that contains nested content within it, none of those nested content is going to match the string pretzel or the string beer. The only level of depth that you might say we look at is the top level within the array that's the value of favorites. We don't recurse into any kind of arbitrary depth. There is no operation in MongoDB for recursing to find a particular field with a particular value at an arbitrary depth in the document. We will look only at the fields that you specify, or if the corresponding value of the field is an array, at the top level elements of the array. That's the value of the field that you specify. Nevertheless, this is a very common idiom to use in MongoDB. Of course, this matching can be combined with other sorts of matching, for example, favorites is beer, and name greater than h, or favorites includes pretzels, and name is greater than h. And so it combines with other query operators, or operators on other fields, in a hopefully intuitive fashion. Did you get that? Okay, let's have a quiz. Which of the following four documents would be returned by this query? db.product.find tag colon shiny id42 Name Wizzy Wizomatic, tags Awesome Shiny Green. ID 704, name Fooey Fuatron, tags Blue Mediocre. ID 1040, name Snappy Snapalux, tags Shiny. ID 12345, Quoxinator, tags The Empty Array.